What's up, YouTube? It's me, Alex, and we are here for another trailer reaction. And this one was posted today. And this is the official trailer for Disney Plus's Hawkeye. So I don't really know any much about the show. I haven't really been following it to know like what it could be about. But we definitely know is after Black Widow because Yelena's in it, uh, played by Florence Pugh, who was great in the movie. So I'm very, very excited to see her. And so, um, as we know, that Haley Steinfeld has been cast, of course, as Kate Bishop. And it's basically going to be, I guess, I'm assuming is Hawkeye passing on his torch to Hawkeye because in the comics her name is just Hawkeye or people call her Kate Bishop. So we're going to watch the trailer and we'll, we'll look at some stuff after. So let's get right into this. This is the first Christmas we've had together in years. Oh, it's the family. I'm making up for some lost time. Authorities are wondering if the masked vigilante who terrorized the city's underworld is back. The past is cut off me. No. Should we be worried? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be home for Christmas. I promise. Okay. Please don't die. That's usually... Prime words for I'm gonna die. <laughs> I, I mean, I do like Clint. You're a Hawkeye. Who the hell are you? Some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Are you one of those people? It's the most wonderful. Hey, babe, I should be back in a day or two. I mean, that looks really fun. Like that look, that looks really fun. And being the fact that it's set or like it kind of set around Christmas time. I mean, that's really cool. Like movies that are set in Christmas time are usually always really fun. You know what I'm saying? So let's look really quickly. So of course it's a mini series and I wonder if it's just going to be one season like how WandaVision is. So I mean if you don't know Loki's is going to be two seasons and I believe that it was only is two seasons because of COVID that because it because if you watch the first season it feels kind of incomplete because the way it ended so I definitely feel like that season two was meant to be part of season one but because of COVID they had to split it which I guess is kind of fine but it kind of feels like annoying because it's definitely a huge cliffhanger so I wonder if this one's going to do the same thing but it's going to it's scheduled to premiere on November 20th. 24th and it will be six episodes ending on December 29th and then a spin-off series focuses focus on Cox's character Maya Lopez Echo is in development who is Co Alakwa Cox I don't know who that is so is it, I'm assuming it's gonna be an hour it better be an hour so the Primos Following the events of Avengers Endgame, Clint Barton must work together with the young Kate Bishop to confront enemies from his past time as Ronan in order to get his family back, to get back to his family in time for Christmas. Okay. So, uh, apparently in this, Kate is obsessed with Clint Barton and she brings an onslaught of problems into his life because, of course, he's just such a chill dude that people bring problems to him. <laughs> Kate is a 22-year-old fan of Hawkeye who becomes his protege and she's being trying to take over the mantle of Hawkeye. She draws the attention of Barton by masquerading as Ronan. Interesting. Okay, that's what I kind of thought. I was like, is she going to be trying to be Ronan? And so she is smart and witty and a badass with physical physical abilities that are through the roof. While uh, Jimmy Renner says that she is a wonderfully annoying and equally charming manner about her, which I believe from some of the comics that I read with her in that, I can definitely agree with that. I've read more of the Young Avengers where she's part, like she's kind of been in with the team as opposed to like her solo ones but I definitely I think there was a new one that was released so I will check that one out Vera Farmiga is playing her mother Fra Free is Kazi Tony Dalton Zon McLaren oh he was cool mm -hmm. Brian Darcy James in it Alakwa Cox she's a deaf Native American who can perfectly copy another person's movements oh that is really cool I don't know who this is but this is what she looks like she is a fictional superhero when appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics the adoptive daughter of the Kingpin 
Oh. And this character has been depicted as a supporting character of Daredevil. So I know there was talk about Charlie Cox coming back in as Daredevil and Matt Murdock at some point. So I wonder if with her own spinoff series, if that's how they'll introduce him if he's not being introduced in Spider-Man No Way Home. People will definitely speculate that the lawyer that Peter is talking to is Matt Murdock, which if it's not him, maybe he'll be introduced in this, in the Maya, the Echo spinoff. Or maybe he might have a part in, in Hawkeye because she, because Maya is in this. And then Florence Pugh is returned as Yelena Belova. She's of course a, a Black Widow. A little bit of spoilers for if you haven't seen Black Widow. She's a highly trained spy and assassin working for Valentino Allegro de Fontaine who we know from the Falcon and Winter Soldier <laughs> Captain America and the Winter Soldier she is hunting Barton because of his role in Natasha's death for the Soul Stone which we knew that was coming if you saw the end credit scene of Black Widow there's a <laughs> I did there was like a there was like a like a musical there was like a musical version of the Avengers that was cute there's some Chitauri warriors Oh, there's Tony up there, and there's Hawkeye, there's Black Widow, I Love New York. Who is he supposed to be? Is he supposed to be Peter? Oh, he's Peter. <laughs> it doesn't even matter, but I just, like, it's so funny. But... <laughs> <laughs> look at it. it's so hilarious oh my god so of course hawkeye effing stuff up in in game when he was ronin he sees somebody is back as him but it clearly is not him and it's kate so of course he has to go find her because he's like whoa you're causing problems so that's gonna this is, looks like he's gonna be fun which after some of the heavy hitters that we've had with wandavision and even captain american winter soldier being very political and loki having its moments and then what if if you've not been watching that it has been great so this one looks like it might be funny i mean i'm pretty sure there, there might be heavy moments in it as well but it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more on the light-hearted side very interested to see that so what are you guys thoughts on hawkeye as a mini series, I mean, I know not, I know he's not everybody's favorite Avenger, but I do think that him and Kate as a team do add to a mini series. And so now that we have Kate Bishop, who else would you like to see have their own mini series on Disney Plus? You've been following my fan cast, you, then you would know that I'm a huge advocate for having like little mini episodes of some of the X Men being introduced on Disney Plus. Like I feel like it would be a good way, like a little anthology. It'd be a good way to introduce them to the audience instead of trying to force it all into a movie where some characters don't get the attention they deserve. So that's something that I would like to see. Just a little anthology, like nothing too serious. Series can be like an hour long episode of each character that we meet. I don't know. I, I feel like it will work. I think it'd be fine. I, I don't know. So, so who else in the Marvel Universe do you think would be a good choice to be introduced in a mini series and then potentially be in movies later? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the trailer in general and what do you expect to see from the show. So as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching this trailer with me. It looks so much fun. I hope you guys have fun watching it too. So do not forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that button to get notifications for when I post more videos. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.